Oh, here it is. <coughs> is it butane? This is isobutane okay. as well. Okay, now this can store up into like this. So this is what I do, and I'll throw this in my backpack. And this has the, the fuel source, this is my can here, the actual burner, and your cup. And it can eat two cups of water, which is great for mountain house meals. Pour the water right in, you eat right there, so you can save from having to wash it. Just dry it out, back and go. I bring this, I bring extra for the scouts. I've got oatmeal, grits, uh, uh, top ramen, all the great stuff. <laughs> um, and another thing too, just like Brett, I like to have blueberry muffins on my camp out. So I actually have, we'll get to that in a second on how I make that. But this right here, oops, let's turn it out. This is called a Whisper Light -like Universal. And the reason they call it a universal is because you can take, take the can off, canister filter. And, or not filters, canister of gas, and this is again isopropane. And you can make some modifications in here, and you can use um, your kerosene, white <coughs> gas, siphon it out of your car, unleaded gas, so that will work too. Um, but again, that's unleaded gas, and again, it's Boy Scout rules, so we can't use that. But uh, not like I'm going to do that. But you can use it to heat up and cook in a pan, or get your hand to be in the backpacking stove and then you can heat this up to 400, 450 degrees, make some uh, pans are in there, but you can mix blueberry muffins so you can have a hot, I think Brett was with us when we had a camp out, we had blueberry muffins, something nice and warm, not your typical frozen meals, or freeze dried meals, you heat up with water. So it's a nice treat. This actually folds down pretty nicely so that you can put it in your backpack and haul away. Something new. I don't carry it all the time, but it's something nice. What's it called? This is a Bemco, B-E-M-C-O stove. Or, oh, sorry, oven. Can you put the muffins inside it or on top? Well, you'll put, oh. There we go. There's the stove. I got my two little handy dandy trays there. Oh, and they're still in the wash, but I have two six inch uh, pans that I can, just like you would any other pan, you pour even brownies, blueberry muffins, put it in there. Doesn't fall apart like that. But heat it up, and then you can uh, time it for what, 450 degrees, things 15 minutes. But it's all relatively, it changes. It's, uh, but can you imagine taking this with you on a hike up in the Uintas, 40 miles, and being able to eat pizzas and whatnot? Hmm. Cost now, difference between the two? Okay, well, hundred dollars for the whole kit. Fifty dollars, I think, somewhere around fifty plus. And and this right here, this is universal now. This is the latest and greatest that came out with um, Whis the Whisper Light MSR. And these are about 140 because you have that, and you also have. Oh, these are my two attachments. Here's my canister fuel, which I really like because it's easy. This, you got to pump it up, fill the gas up, and so it's just another operation. Quick and easy. Easy, but a little bit slower. No leakage problem. No, no leakage problem. But if you're, you know, if you're looking for something for a heat source and you have some of these in your 72-hour kit and you have to grab and go, you can't beat these. Cook time is about two and a half minutes. Boil water, two cups of water. Whereas uh, the blue and the black are the same. They're the same. Yeah, I just this is my son's. This is mine. So they're really easy. This one actually has an electric start. Well, they both have an electric start, so you don't have to worry about carrying a lighter. The of yeah. Okay. And this one, you, you can bring a lighter. The lighter. But quick, it's easy. Just I brought these as options, even though we're talking about the different stoves, different uses. Uses. Make your bacon, eggs, and ham, and whatever. And the um, you cook in the oven. There's different uses for this one. For this stove, you have to have a, a tube. You can't stick this type of canister type fuel inside here, it just won't fit. 
and plus you don't want the fuel in here where it's going to get 400 degrees. What are other heat sources you can use on that? Uh, you, you can throw, uh, the, uh, the idea is maintaining the heat source, so if you use wood, you have to keep soaking it, you can use that, but there's um, multiple type of heaters, but they recommend these are the best so that you can regulate, and they recommend the whisper light because you can regulate the temperature more effectively. You have a finer control on it. Any safety issues with either of them? Just don't, just keep the kids away. But other than that, just don't touch because this is 450 degrees right here. But we didn't seem to have a problem. The kids stayed away from it, and we all enjoyed uh, them very much. That's all I have. I'm ready. I can move over. Are you four? structure. So here I have a number 10 can and hiding underneath the end cap I have this little stove insert. So you turn your can over and this is really simple just three uh, three panels that are hinged together so you just open it up like this and slide it into your number 10 can. Now this was designed to work with paraffin based fuels so a couple of paraffin based fuels that you might be familiar with with this one, which is Instafire. This is paraffin based, and the advantages to paraffin based fuels are there aren't legal limits to how much of it you can store in your home. So if you have butane or propane or white gas or kerosene, there are legal limits to how much of that you can have in your home. With this stuff, you can have as much of it. I thought I saw something going. You can have as much of it. Um, as you want. There's no legal limits. And you can see if you look down in here, it's, there's just a solid panel at the bottom. You can go ahead and just take a scoop of this, which a scoop is a half cup. So a scoop of this, you dump it in there, that's enough. You just put a match to it and it lights. That's enough to boil two cups of water. Now another fuel um, that is just brand new on the market is this paraffin, it's paraffin based as well, but instead of using, this this one uses like lava rocks or something like that, that the paraffin is saturate, saturates the lava rocks and then it's sealed with a dry paraffin on top of that. This is wax, actually a food grade wax and red cedar uh, shavings. So the red cedar really burns hot, but the biggest advantage the red cedar gives you is it's antimicrobial, so it will never grow mold or um, bacteria on it. So as far as long-term storage, even if your whole stock of storage of these got wet, it's not going to mold or go rancid because you've got that cedar that keeps it from, from any of that stuff from growing. So it has a, an indefinite shelf life. And once again, there's no, uh, there's no limit to how much of it you can store. Now one of these is enough to boil two cups of water. But one, a whole one of these will boil four cups of water for probably about five or six minutes. Half of one of these is enough to cook a meal, and it would also be enough to boil two cups of water. 